Okay, so last time we were talking about an instance where we have a very simple neural network with just one predictor and a bias term. We have an output Y, which is binary. And then we have an activation output activation function that is the sigmoid function where F of A equals E to the A over one plus E to the A. Okay, and we talked about cross entropy as our loss function that we were going to minimize. And that worked out to be something like negative log. In this case, we can put it all together where it was the product I equals one to N E to the W naught plus W one X over uh, X I over one plus E to the W naught plus W one X I raised to the yi power, and then one over one plus e to the w naught plus w1 xi raised to the one minus yi power, okay? So since we're um, taking, I'm gonna take the log and uh, which, uh, I'm gonna take the log, which then turns, of course, the log turns this product into a sum but then I'm also gonna kind of collect terms over here. Um, and as you do that, it works out to be the sum, I equals one to N. Uh, in this case, it works out to be, um, we, can, we can kind of combine the negative YI and the YI from here and the denominators sort of cancel out. And then we get a part that looks like this, W naught plus W one XI times YI and then we get, um, let's just make sure we know that that negative is applies to everything. Uh, and then the uh, next part, we get a minus um, log uh, one plus e to the w naught plus w one xi. Okay. And so that function, um, you know, this part is linear. Um, but this part is not. So how do we minimize this function, right? We, we want to minimize it. We have this negative out here. We want to minimize it. How do we minimize it? And how does uh, deep learning and neural networks approach these kinds of problems? Well, uh, when you do logistic regression, they've studied that particular problem quite a bit, and they have good answers that are the, you know, some of the best answers. But uh, our neural network package is extremely general, and it works on very general versions of this diagram, where uh, we can change the loss function, we can change the activation functions, we can add lots of interior layers, and so on. So it needs a much, much more general algorithm than what is typically done in statistics for this specific problem. So, you know, one example of what is done in neural networks is to use so-called gradient descent. Now, just to remind you what we're maximizing for is we're taking this function. The only thing we don't know, we know the regressors, right? We know the regressors and we know the outcomes. I just uh, underline the outcomes. We know this, this term over here is just another regressor. So we know those. What we don't know are these quantities, the weights. We don't know the weights. So we need a way to calculate the weights. Okay, so um, let's imagine I have a, a, a general function. Um, and I were to take uh, that function is too, too much like just two lines. I need something with a little bit more curvature like that. Okay, so let me take a point over here, x, and look at that. Okay, so, you know, if I were to take like a line here, right, it, that it would be a, a line with a positive slope, right? It's going up. It's going up as you head from left to right. Okay, and then the derivative is the instantaneous version of that. So imagine taking this kind of line here and just taking these two endpoints and shrinking them together. You get the, the tangent line like right at that point. Okay, so... Uh, if the derivative is positive, what gradient descent says is, well, why don't we just, you know, head 
in the opposite direction a little bit. And then the same thing is over here. If you're over here, the derivative is gonna be negative. And it's saying, well, if you're here, if here your best guess at the minimum, we wanna get right here. If your best guess at the minimum is there, why don't we head in that direction a little bit, okay? So it's a very simple algorithm. So it's sort of something like your parameter is equal to um, your parameter new value is equal to your parameter old value minus however far, something that's related to however far you want to head in the direction toward the minimum or toward the minimum uh, uh, times the uh, derivative of the function you're trying to minimize evaluated at the old version of the parameter. Okay, and that's gradient descent. That's a univariate version of gradient descent. And then, um, you know, when you have uh, a multivariate parameter, this derivative gets turned into what is called a gradient, which is just a collection of what they call partial derivatives, but it still works effectively in the same way. Okay, so that is the algorithm. So now we have everything that we need to actually try an example in PyTorch where we try to minimize a logistic regression function um, using PyTorch in deep learning with a simple neural network like this. So let's actually try some computing next, but I hope at this point you understand, um, have a, good, a, a little bit of a sense of what's going on. Uh, I should say, um, you wouldn't want to actually do logistic regression this way. Like I mentioned earlier, uh, Python are, you know, every reasonable data science program is going to have a optimal logistic regression fitting program. So this is just for didactic purposes for explaining neural networks. Okay, so now let's try fitting some logistic regression models using PyTorch.